हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक सो विदाउट एनी डिले लेट स्टार्ट दी वीडियो आसामेट्रिक पीसीआर सो हेयर व्हाट मींस आसामेट्रिक मींस सामेट्री मींस व्हेन टू और मोर थिंग्स दे आर इन द सेम ऑर्डर सेम पैटर्न सो दैट इज नोन एज सामेट्री बट असिमेट्री मींस व्हेन द टू और मोर थिंग्स दे आर नॉट इन द सेम पैटर्न और सेम क्वांटिटी और सेम लाइनिंग मींस बाय एनी वे यू कैन इमेजिन असिमेट्री मींस व्हेन द टू थिंग्स दे आर नॉट इन अकॉर्डेंस विद ईच अदर दे आर डिफर फ्रॉम ईच अदर सिंपल सो हियर असिमेट्रिक पीसीआर मींस व्हेन वी एम्पलीफाई द वन स्ट्रैंड ऑफ ओरिजिनल डीएनए मोर देन अदर स्ट्रैंड मींस यू नो डीएनए हैव द टू स्ट्रैंड्स and usually in the pcr we are amplifying both of the strand in equal quantity but in asymmetric pcr if we want to amplify only one strand of the dna more than the other strand so that pcr is known as asymmetric pcr so for this we have to use the primer in specific ratio means the strand which we want to amplify more so the primer of that strand should also be more than the primer of other strand generally we use the ratio 100 is to 1 so after the 20 to 25 cycle the one primer will definitely exhausted it will be used up and now the pcr mixture we left only with the primer of one strand so ultimately now what we will get we will get the primer sorry we will get the only one strand amplified by the primer that are remained so the result ultimately as i told from with next 5 to 10 pcr we have only single strand generated so here again the procedure of asymmetric pcr so here this red color shape it represent the non targeted strand means which you do not want to amplify more and this green color shape it represent the targeted dna means that dna strand which you want to amplify more than the non targeted dna strand so these are the two strands of a same dna molecule but you just only want to amplify this green one not the red one so how will you perform the asymmetric pcr so first of all we have to add the primer so this uh, red arrow represent the primer for this red color strand that is non targeted so it is in a limited concentration and this blue arrows they represent the primers which are used for the you can say the amplification of the targeted dna which is in the green color so the concentration of these blue primers means the target dna strand specific primer is more than the non targeted uh, dna now what will happen after the pcr as you know the limited primer they will get exhausted and we will have only few non targeted dna strands that will be amplified because pcr primer will be exhausted but in case of targeted dna strand we have the abundant primer means we have the plenty of primer so that after the exhaustion of the primer for non targeted strand the pcr will continue for the target strand and we will get the more targeted strand amplification as compared to non target dna strand amplification so this is how we can perform the asymmetric pcr or what is the principle behind the asymmetric pcr so that's all for today guys see you in the next video thank you very much